Now, coming up, a new way of thinking about diabetes, a brand new approach through diet. You'll meet the author of The PH Miracle for Diabetes. That's coming up next today on Paula Sands Live. One of the most pressing health issues of our day is diabetes on the rise in a big way. More children are being diagnosed. And you're about to meet a man who's found some interesting answers to this condition. Dr. Robert Young and his wife Shelley have written The PH Miracle for Diabetes. This is uh, actually part two uh, of a book that came out earlier. Dr. Young joins us now. It's not great to have you here oh, today. Thank you so much for having me on the show. I know that, um, that the, your, your previous book, a lot of people told us that um, they really learned a lot from it and it really helped them. So your approach is different though, isn't it? Well, it's an environmental approach. Rather than focusing on the tissue or the organ, we focus on the fluids that surround the cell or the organs with this particular understanding that the cell or the organ or the organ systems are only as healthy as the fluids in which they're bathed in. Mm -hmm. It's called the fishbowl metaphor. And so your, your plan doesn't really include medication at all, or do you recommend that people end their medication when they begin your diet plan? Oh, not at all. We, okay. we ask them to continue on their medications, but to watch and follow uh, their sugar levels very closely because in two controlled studies, we have found by using this revolutionary diet, they can actually reduce the amount of insulin they need on a daily basis by up to 50% within a very, very short period of time. Is this controversial at all? Do you have medical doctors um, tell you that they don't think this is sound? Not at all. In fact, they're very interested in the theories because uh, uh, they're not necessarily educated in nutrition or in uh, helpful ways to, to, uh, in, the, in relationship to the type of foods that they should be eating. Huh. And so they're interested in how to help their patients with a healthy diet. And so this is a revolutionary diet that focuses on what you eat. I really see a lot of green veggies in here. That's right. Avocado, uh, well, a, a whole lot of other things. But you're not just saying that if you eat this way, you will not be diabetic anymore. Well, what we've found, in fact, we've seen complete reversals with this program, you even, have. even in type 1 diabetes. Uh -huh. In the two control studies we've done, 83% who were type 1 diabetics were able to either eliminate their insulin injections completely, or in 96% of those who are type 2 diabetics were able to eliminate all of their medications on this program. Does it work for kids, too? Well, it does. It works for kids of all ages. In fact, we had a year and a half, 18-month-old uh, baby who was diagnosed with juvenile di diabetes. And, of course, he was wasting away. And, and within a matter of just a few weeks, actually applying the principles in this book, he was able to, they were able to balance the blood sugars in a very, very short period of time. Wow. And, of course, the child is no longer diabetic. Well, uh, Robert, what about the, uh, the women who get diabetes while they're pregnant, the gestational diabetes that normally goes away then afterwards? Could they go on this diet? Most definitely, because it will help balance the internal and fluids. And, and that's really the emphasis of this particular book, to help balance the internal fluids, the acid-alkaline balance, to reduce acidity, which generally causes cells to break down, releasing their sugars, causing blood sugars to go up. Huh. So if we can keep a more inter uh, alkaline environment within our bodies, then we enjoy a greater level of health. Well, you invited, uh, we invited your wife, Shelley, as well, here to, today. She's co-author of your book. That's she's right. in her kitchen. She's getting ready to uh, you know, fire up a couple recipes here. Um, but before, before we meet her, mm -hmm. just real quickly, so I know it's hard to boil down your big, thick book in, in 30 seconds. Give us some, some perfect foods that we really should be eating. Well, one of the most perfect foods, whether you're diabetic or not, is the avocado. We need to focus more on healthy fats, particularly the long-chain polyunsaturated fats, because they help to neutralize acidity that builds up through metabolism. Avocado? And avocado. It's, it's approximately 80% fat. The interesting thing is, though, because it's low sugar, we're also getting a high concentration of potassium, which helps to regulate the alkaline environment. So avocados is a perfect food, and you don't get fat by eating avocados. No. Well, and, and there are many, many lists of, of others. And we're going to make do a little recipe yeah. next. This is a famous shake, isn't it? Is, exactly. Is it? It's the famous shake. Yeah. Well, it's the green shake. It's the green shake. Uh, it's so great to meet you, Dr. Young. Well, Thank nice you so to meet much. You. Thank so you. what we're going to do? We'll take a break here. We come back. We're going to hit the kitchen with Shelly Young and make that famous super green shake. Uh, it's every diabetic's perfect food. Right after this break today on PSL. We're in the kitchen now with a co-author of The PH Miracle for Diabetes, Shelly Young, with her famous green shake. 
and she's putting everything green into the blender right now. Shelly, it's great to have you here. Thank you. Yeah, it's just on the road with your hubby, huh? <laughs> that's right. Oh, that's that's family right. up there. Now, what did you just throw in there? I just threw in a half of the new English cucumber, a whole avocado. You just heard Dr. Young talk about avocados. Mm -hmm. We've got some dehydrated greens powders with grasses, kale, celery, parsley, broccoli. Ooh. It's a farmer's market there in a powder. And some super soy sprouts. This is why I want to uh, lift the protein content of the shake. Okay. I've got some fresh coconut water and some coconut milk. Even in a pinch if you can't get a fresh coconut. Mm. Coconut milk. Yeah. yeah. That is and good. we've got some mint. We're going to add a little bit of mint uh, in here because people, when they eat green, if you put a little mint in it, it goes. They like green and they well, like give mint. Give a whip there. Yeah. So we're going to just say? put a little bit of ice in the top. Okay. And this is, uh, this is what we use for the diabetic for breakfast. Um, cause we want to get them all those starch, off the, all those sugary, starchy, high protein breakfasts that might, uh, leave an acidic, a residue in their bloodstream. So Sounds this is like this it is might be good for everybody. That is the yeah. most monstrous looking wonder <laughs> I've ever seen in my life. Right, right. Okay, let's okay, whip it. Let's get it away. Now, so while you're doing that, you guys go here. We can't hear each other, but, uh, this is almost done. Now this would be good for anybody, not just diabetics. Yeah, this is alkalizing and energizing for anyone because it is full of nutrients. Right. And oh, the sound of silence. And okay. you know, it's much better to, to switch over to healthy fats for your fuel, for your energy. Yes. Rather than sugars because uh, you, you don't get the this? lactic acid. Let's put it in one of these beautiful. Okay, let's. Okay. You know, it makes it taste better if it's in a pretty glass. Yeah. The other yes. thing about the avocados that your husband was just telling us. Oh my goodness, that just looks like. Little uh, freeze dried coconut. Well, I think I might like it. Yeah. But if I don't, just in, case, just in case I don't, I tell you what, <laughs> let, let's show the little pudding that you're going to make here. Okay. You know, we have just a little bit of time left. All righty. You're going to make a pudding with the avocado, Shelly, right? Right. right. What right. else has, it, has in it this, uh, your almond oil or the almond milk? Right. Yes. When I make the pudding, I double the avocados. I put in a lime. I keep the super soy sprouts in so it's high protein. This and is I good, but weird. Milk. <laughs> Good but weird. It's avocado and right. mint together. But yeah, and cucumber. You got your alkalizing cucumber in there, mm -hmm. and your sweetener is stevia, which is an herbal sweetener, which doesn't affect the glycemic rate of a diabetic. Beautiful though, isn't it? Yeah. Or now this pudding. Yeah. This is avocado pudding. Right, right. Do you want me to blend it, or should we just? I tell you what. Yeah, we'll just talk about it. Okay. The recipes are all in here. All in the of book. Of course. Right, right. And Shelley, I bet you've learned how to eat better just by doing this. I have. You? I have. I can go all day just on one of the pudding through the shakes because the fats burn real slow and they give me a cleaner fuel to burn on and wow and it's great well it's a whole new way of eating which a lot of us aren't used to because we're right. eating processed junk right and this is a good example of eating good whole foods of having right. you know life foods that are electron rich we're, we're filling ourselves with electrons which means more energy mm -hmm. and uh, I, I think the research has found that diseases can be reversed absolutely and we can definitely feel better and prevented Prevented. We love that. Um, it right. is the pH miracle for diabetes. And uh, Dr. Robert Young and his wife Shelley are traveling all over to uh, teach us about this. You can pick up that book. I suppose all the local bookstores, right? Right. Shelley, thank you so much. Thank it's you. great to see you. Thank this you very really, much. This is pretty yummy. There is a book signing going on, by the way. You can meet these two tomorrow from noon to three at uh, the Borders in Davenport. So we're going to wrap it up for today and uh, tell you to have a great weekend. Stick around next for your news at five. Bye for now.